will be able to go to war now. I'm not going to call on any of my allies. So that's just going to lag the game and kill my supply. So. Fine, call on your little friend, dude. I don't give a shit. Who is, like, using up all of my fucking airports? I haven't even called anyone in. I guarantee it's the fucking Canadians. Oh, I did not know you could do that. Dude, I can't see. I'm warning you now. If you don't surrender, then I'm just calling in everyone. When I do that, that's not going to be fun for anyone. Dude, I love how we're making progress towards fucking Cleveland faster than these crap asses can. Who's been stuck in the same positions in this Cold War for like 18 years. Do we even have naval superiority? What do we got? Oh, my fleet just probably got decimated, so they're repairing. Okay, if we aren't done with this war by my birthday, which is June 21st, by the way, um, here's what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna call in all the the whole the whole gang will come in. My uh, my goons, and that is Cleveland is ours now. Go for Pittsburgh next. So we're actually pushing them now, which is huge, tactically. Cleveland will supply a lot of resources. a few convoys down. We 
we have 48% naval supremacy. Looks like these guys are pushing them out of Richmond, so their entire front is collapsing. It's just we're basically taking a fuck ton of casualties to help them push, which I don't really want to take. And no one's gonna have even close to the amount of factories as us, unless like maybe China and Japan. For us to be able to go to war economy. T.E. Lawrence, isn't he an author or something? And Tony, ready to infiltrate. Oh my God, dude, if we can take Pittsburgh, that'll be huge. After that, though, I think we're going to stall our offensive. Go for more tactical pushes instead of just going full out, because taking 484 casualties is not something I exactly plan for. Somehow we still have yet to take Pittsburgh. Fix the supply, go motorized. losing a fuck ton of submarines which is fine i mean if we're taking out convoys that could be useful to us later on Punic victory. Still have yet to take Pittsburgh, which is really getting annoying. The Swedish Finland war probably ended due to uh, the amount of casualties Finland suffered. Just keep this shit. Alright, well. Uh, that's a problem because my friend Russia actually kind of wants that territory back. So we might have to figure out a deal here where. Yeah. I'm sure you're not in the mood to fight a long war. Neither am I. That's why I, uh. Alright, as soon as Pittsburgh falls, I'm just calling in all my allies, because I'm not... I don't have the manpower to deal with this.
And they're about to take Washington too, it looks like. Okay. We'll just do the button. The legendary button. Here comes the wave. Here comes the crimson chin. I'm literally calling in all of Europe and Africa and I guess North America and the Caribbean. A little bit of Asia. Um, is that it? Probably. I don't think I have any... Oh, I have a fuck ton of people in South America too. So all of them now are coming in. Come on, just clear it out, clear it out. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Thank God. And we got Pittsburgh. Let's fucking go, dude. That's huge. DC get cat No, it's on the precipice of being captured though. I think America knows this too. They don't have the manpower to deal with this much longer. Like, the war is basically over. Just a matter of when and where we can make breakthroughs. Which it looks like it's right here. And taking this would be a huge fuck you to the rail if we can connect it, which I don't know necessarily if we can. No. Go, go, go. Um. American nationality. Uh. This guy will do. Oh, why would you do that? Great. It's another fucking war I gotta fight. Huge push to connect this rail line and st Harrisburg is not going to plan. DC fallen. They really can only hold, like, probably here would be their last defensive line. So if we could somehow cut that off, hypothetically, 